and felt the Holy Spirit telling me to go tell her that that God sees her sorrow and her pain. And I was just like, oh, I was a little bit panicked. So something the Lord has really been teaching me or putting on my heart the past almost year and a half on the field is just to be able to do whatever he's telling me to do and and say whatever he's telling me to say, even if it seems crazy or uncertain as to whether it's really from him in the moment. For example, last May when we were on um, tour um, to various cities in one city after we did a show, I noticed there was an older woman um, just sitting on a bench. And as I looked at her, I just felt the Holy Spirit tell me that she has some really big sorrow in her heart. And felt the Holy Spirit telling me to go tell her that, that God sees her sorrow and her pain. And I was just like, oh, I was a little bit panicked <laughs> because in that moment, I didn't know the lady. I didn't know if it was true. What if I went over and told her that and she looked at me like I was crazy? Um, but I, so I wrestled with myself for, for several minutes. Um, but then finally, I just walked over to where she was and just started to try to talk to her. Um, and she was sitting on this bench and she was a very nice lady. And as we were talking, I put my hand on the back of the bench and as soon as I did that, I got a splinter in my finger. And immediately, like when I like told the ladies what had happened, they just immediately tried to help me start getting it out. Like we're super compassionate and amazing and helpful and just amazing, wonderful, <laughs> lovely ladies. Anyway, finally got the splinter out of my finger. Um, but that just like opened the door to just being better friends kind of and so we just started talking and I didn't know very much of the language at that time so it was very a very general conversation and they didn't know any English. Finally after we had talked for a little about little bit with the little language I knew I called my friend over um, who speaks the language fluently and I asked her to translate for me and so I again remembered yes all right, God wants me to tell this lady that he sees her sorrow and pain. And I was like, I was freaking out internally, but I said, okay, God, I'm going to do this. And so I, with my friend translating, I, I told the lady that I felt God tell me that she has some sorrow or pain and, and, and to, that he want, God wanted me to tell her that, that he sees it and knows it. And immediately she just starts tearing up. She tells me and my friend that she has wanted a child for so long, but has been unable to conceive. And so she just begins like telling us this and kind of just pouring her heart out. And me and my friend were able to pray for her and just encourage her that God really loved her and God sees her and knows her and that God wants to do this for her. We're able to share a little bit of the gospel with her of just how much God loves her and how much Jesus cares for her in particular. Because um, she was very clearly Muslim, she was covered. Um, and just explaining to her that, that God was not far away, God was not distant, but he was near to her and, and really, really loved her. Yeah, I just got to pray for her that she would be able to have a child. And so that was just a really crazy experience for me um, and just a really cool way in which God used me, but God also showed me that he is faithful and if I have the faith to just listen to the Holy Spirit and, and follow him that he will show up and um, yeah open open doors into people's lives in ways that I wasn't even expecting.